This is how I live, I live. This is what I love oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of Welcome to my life This is what I love This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of Music love life Crystal Jordan, be honest with myself, Mr. Kevin. We are Music Love Life. Welcome. The love part is the is the is where we slide. It's got a slide. Love life. It's, love life. It's hard Cornelius. to say love and not like not to not to make music it love life. <laughs> You're very uh, Don Cornelius, but I mean, I don't know that Mr. K. I don't know that he calls himself Mr. Don. He, his, he, well, he calls himself Don Cornelius. That's yes, his name. He doesn't put a mister. Yeah, but I mean, the mister is still funny to me. Still, I mean, I know it's been weeks and weeks and weeks, and we took a break, so it's been months actually. And it's his social. It's his social handle. Oh, that's your. So, yeah, that's that's true. It is. You know, I that's forgot true. to tell you to change it too. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like he's trying to just assert his dominance. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Mr. Kevin. Hey, ain't, ain't that what the good Lord say? No. Well, man the ground no... underneath your own feet. Have you no. ever heard the Lord speak? No, the Bible doesn't say that. I've it's heard. It's not in the scripture. I've heard, I've heard the Lord. Mm. What, what did he say? I've heard the voice of the Lord. What did white, he say? Was he white or black? He was definitely <laughs> black. Okay. <laughs> Actually, she was definitely black. Oh man, you're one of those. She was black. You're yes. one of those people. You're not. You're not only. A, I, I, f- I forgot who I was zealot. speaking to for a moment. Wow. Yeah, she is black. Wow. Okay. We all come from you. <laughs> yeah. I thought women were created from the rib of a man. See, we got some. We got some chicken. How? We got some chicken and egg situation here. There How? Is there, that we is have the, to go with scripture, or we don't. Biblical, Either we going with it, or we not going with it. Hey, man, look, I'm gonna just tell you like this: the only way I've seen a human come into the world is through a woman. Look at you, non. Look, you non-religious people. I don't I'm not know. gonna do this. Well, okay, so now wait a minute. Wait, no, I'm, I'm, we have another problem here. So now we're going off what we've actually seen. So then we're talking about the Lord and voices and stuff. When, when are we gonna when are we gonna be real with this? Like we can't we can't just go jump back and mm-hmm. forth. You know what I'm saying? Are we are we talking about reality? Are we talking about mm, fantasy? Well, well fantasy. fantasy. People are born of women. What's fantasy about that? Okay. So are I they mean, not? So how? So are you? Have, did you get here another way? I don't are you know. Suggesting actually. that the would first, you get here by stork? The I don't first remember. Person. No, no. The first person. How did they without sperm? I mean, when we go back to inception, there had to be a time when either there was a there was a virginal birth, or are you a penis apologist? What it sounds like she's she's a penis apologist right now. <laughs> what is that? I like it. What does that even mean? I like it because now you're making excuses for the sperm and how important it is. When most women are like, "Fuck niggas, I don't need. We don't need y'all. We, you know, what I'm saying. Oh, like, I like. I, no, I, I like I that. I think though. it's very important to have this. Is new for you? I think <laughs> it's not. No, I no no it's not. But I'm just saying realistically you need the sperm to fertilize the egg. Is that not true? That that is true. Okay. However. However. Picture if you will. A woman becoming pregnant as yes. a virgin or a man just jizzing and a baby showing up. Well, that's not how it went. Neither it, it, work. That's not how it went. Mm. It was no, that's not true. It I I think it's equally What's true. more likely? Neither. Sam. I think that I think that women were created from the rib of a man. Uh oh, I believe it. How? I think that that's how. I mean, how how did we get it, here? It never happened again, though. Like it, I, there and, would be and, one okay. hell of a rib. So and neither did a Big Bang. There's never been. Do you believe in evolution? What do you? What do you? How do you? How do we get here? No, I believe in creation. Okay, so how are we created? I can't believe we're doing this right now. You, we just we just did it. We, we I mean, it's all a part. If we're saying about creation and how did well, you know what did we come from? We have to go back to this. Right? Like, share, and subscribe. You're it's saying the this show. <laughs> right, right, right. You're saying that women, you know, are, are the are the ultimate being, which I'm not disagreeing. Yeah, I, with. I mean, I mean, I'm not disagreeing. Science science also shows us that there are are very different species of plants and animals that are single sex and give birth on their own. Other animals are even to change sex. And I'm saying if God created those animals to be able to do that and he's given man all of these powers. But he only did it once that way too. Chances are there was one. That only happens once. So you're saying that you believe that God created humans just not in the way that the Bible says. Correct. 
that's different. I didn't expect you to say that. I I am did not know that was. Coming. So you have a different book that you're going off of, or he's just going off. Are you just making Kevin's this shit theory? up? As you go, see to my pants. <laughs> 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 it sounds good, right? No, it, comes, it sounds crazy uh, as hell. How? Err. It no, crazy-er. it all sounds crazy to me. You know how I feel about all so of this. So, what do you think? What do you think happened? No idea. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I like that. That's I'm just real. here. That's honest. I'm just here enjoying life. Just hey, I just, got here some kind of way. I, I don't believe that. I don't believe that we should we should hedge our bets. Anyway, and, sounds a little bit. What do you mean by hedging our bets? You know, this whole live the life, live your life this particular way because there's a there's something later. I don't believe in any of that. You better live your life right now because you don't believe in the afterlife. I, you don't not, believe in in spirits. I don't believe in spirits. I don't believe. You I believe don't, in heaven. I don't believe in heaven. No. <laughs> I don't believe in heaven. No. No. It's pretty much just a done deal. This no. is what this is what it is. I don't know. You think you just go in the ground? That's I don't. It. I don't know. I kind of think that would be. I think that would Lights be a comforting out. thought. I think that's a comforting thought, though. What? That it's over? It could just be over. It's over when you're dead? It's over. Just It's just over. I don't think it's over when you're dead. Okay. I think you live forever. Do you think you come back in a different form? I think, well, energy transfer. Energy never dies. Energy is transferred from one party to the next. Really? Okay. And so when, when you expire this body, mm-hmm. you'll... Go to either to the source of your energy or you find another body. So that, that's why it doesn't matter. Maybe you'd be born as a baby duck. That's why gender doesn't matter then. You just, you just said why gender doesn't matter because your spirit is not male nor female. So right now... I, no, no, stop now. Come on, man. What? You're about to deny the energy and I thing. go back into a baby duck, a female baby duck. Like if your energy dies... You identify as a baby as duck. A female, female baby duck. Hey man, that's nature's choice. Yeah, nature chooses what you be- become. Nature or God? Here we go. It's like you, your words See, are so I'm loose. You guys, I think it would be. I'm kind of. I'm not all the way. Would be so honest. Your definitions. Your definitions of God are very strict. That's why when I speak, I in have a no definition. I, I don't. Rude. I don't. I don't have a definition at all. That's why I don't know how you put me in that label. I have n- absolutely no definition of God. None. None. He doesn't. I think that when you do that, that's when you make it human, and that's when it's you. The game over. You have messed up already. No, I don't. I don't. I mean, you. You're a very smart human. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but if, if if we're talking about if we're talking about a real energy source, mm-hmm. you can't describe it with your words. And I don't even want to pretend like let's get a word we can agree Fair on. Fair enough. I just Fair why enough. define it. Fair enough, because the force that we're describing, I think, is beyond human. Clearly, if it creates any and everything, man can't create anything, any and everything. Absolutely, they can. Man's fucking a lot of this shit up. Man, no, they're not. Man has. Are you, are you kidding? Our ancestors used to, clink, 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 uh, blah, 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 and now we speak crazy. Like English is a very difficult language. We we create we can we can. Were you, create, were you just making fun of, of tribal people? Is that what that was? I don't know what Cro Magnons. Okay. I was talking about like cavemen and this, cavemen. We yeah, have, we have gone See, some, that, some dark trail. Now guys. that I don't necessarily know, I I don't I don't think that I don't know. I don't. I don't. How do we get uh, here? How, yeah. where we? I know what you want to say. You want to just say we? you know who would you offend? <laughs> uh, I don't. I mean, I don't think we come from fucking cavemen. Okay. You don't think we come from cavemen? No. Nah, well, he's saying as far as like Homo sapiens and um, Neanderthals. That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. So see, I just said caveman. You mean only- I was I was being very generic when I said caveman because to me that's just a a, a, a generic term for right. our prehistoric. Right. What right. he's tra- trying to do now is separate black people from white. That's people. That's I was like, you're not. Talking about you're not you're not <laughs> suggesting that <laughs> African Africans or African Americans don't come from the same origin as the you're not no suggesting no what that. no what I okay. am what I, what I am saying is that I don't think that what, like that image that you we were just uh, chiseling rocks and That's shit in the cave making those voices. yeah people I, in I, Africa were already doing math four hundred thousand years ago I you're think, right. yes I oh. think God created intelligent beings all of them. From start, like I don't but think all we, of them. I don't Everybody, think we just think evolved every, from you, monkeys. Minute. Yeah, there's some dumbass people walking around, but, 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 but yeah, I think, think I think but, okay. Adam was smart. I think Eve were smart. But Kevin, you, but Mr. Kevin, you're not. <laughs> sugge- are you suggesting that from the beginning we were? Because I mean, there's evolution, right? So like in the thir- in the in the 1800s, we didn't. There were there there are inventions, but things continue to evolve and grow. And we learn and technology grows. So are you suggesting that they were at that when that when when creation happened, people already understood everything there was. I mean, there was no learning curve. Of course, there's a learning curve. 
So there was no language yet. Is what I was. My point was. Yeah, and it yeah. All I mean, developed. all those things were developed. My point is that humans are very, very good, and we are creators. We're gods in a sense, if you want to call that. If that's what you call God, we are definitely gods in a sense. We have almost, we have almost figured out creating another human being. Almost. Oh. Almost. We're working on it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sense. Like. Test two babies is around the corner for real. It's some real Everybody shit going on. Everybody's getting going to doctors like and I don't like it at all. I don't like it one bit. I do. I don't like the 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 what is it called the um the clones. I don't I don't like any of it. I don't. Like, I'm, do you know they have clone horses? Did you guys know that? Don't care. I wouldn't be surprised. Nope. That well, Horse I don't hair, know don't why care. you don't care because it's it's it, it's going to happen to humans soon. But there Good. are clone horses that people are buying to race because you may have a. It's not funny. It's okay, funny. It's real information. But you know what? You don't care about horses. I love horses. You cut your horse's balls well, off. I you don't care. You guys all way. And I and and I and I also had my dog neutered, but I love him very much. You couldn't. She loves horses. She just hates men. Oh, that's not true. Males. I don't she hates hate. Males. I don't hate. I do not hate males or penises. I'm not crazy about testicles. <laughs> but, I mean, wow Obviously This this show started very heavy Wait wait So you love the penis But hate the balls <laughs> This show started We've already That's talked about Existence <laughs> Creation And male gelding. vitality like, Male gelding We gotta We gotta We gotta go somewhere else Yeah man. We gotta so What go. about the chicken t- What Kentucky Fried Chicken Has now Thrown its hat Into oh, the ring good segue <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken Has now Attempted About a month Post uh, the, the the big chicken war between Popeyes and Chick Fil A, Kentucky Fried it. Chicken has thrown its hat into the ring with a donut chicken sandwich. What is there? Is there a particular name to this? It's a it's it looks like a Krispy Kreme donut with a fried chicken breast. Wait 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 wait. If KFC actually partners with Krispy Kreme to do that shit, right? Cancel fucking Christmas. Cancel Christmas? What? Man, there would be... Christmas? Cri- Krispy Kreme is like crap, hey, man. But with there's chicken? Nut- <laughs> with chicken? I don't know about that. See, oh, here, see here's my thing, right? Y'all Let's are, pull it up. You, Yo. guys, you guys were saying that they can't... I don't know if Kevin, Mr. Kevin said it, but you definitely said that Krispy... I mean, uh, Chick-fil... I mean... KFC mm-hmm. was late to the, to the party. It was late to the party. I disagree. What I remember is KFC started this whole thing. The now KFC, sandwich? why everybody was going crazy I've for the, the Popeyes, why the Popeyes and, and Chick Fil A thing was going on? KFC was selling mac and cheese. And no, no, no. Chick Fil A is and fucking also- cheese. Put, put put down your guns for a second. Let's let's go back. <laughs> Do you remember KFC invented a sandwich that was? And actually, Chick Fil A was doing mac and cheese as well. They no. were. No. I just said that. Yep. No. KFC had a sandwich that was. There, it wasn't a sandwich. The chicken was the bread, and it had bacon on it. You don't remember this? No. You don't remember this? No. I've never heard this before. Oh, my God. What KFC, test market? Who are you? <laughs> KFC had a... I didn't like it, but KFC had a sandwich... Tasted it? ...where the, the sandwich was two pieces of chicken. You had McDonald's pizza, too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> In other countries, McDonald's serves completely different a different menu. I've heard. And they have chefs and everything. So mm-hmm. McDonald's, I don't know why McDonald's gets so much hate. McDonald's is, is has saved a lot of people's dinner. What do you mean they have chefs? No, they have like there's like a a, a, a culinary art school that McDonald's houses for it. Some of its you know we foreign keep going down weird holes. Right I'm just saying, now. like McDonald's is the real deal. It is okay. Well, Kentucky <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken, that donut. Chicken sandwich is available at select um, uh, Kentucky Fried Chickens. However, did you guys know that Kentucky Fried Chicken is also serving Beyond Chicken? I've seen that. It's like plant-based, right? Yes, plant-based chicken. I'm going to try this. I'm going to... I'm going to try this. I'm I'm more likely to try the the donut. You see the double down? I wasn't joking. (laughs) It's called a double down. I wasn't joking. This was a, a few years ago. Oh, my wait, God. Wait, wait, wait. Why does it have a Wikipedia page? The <laughs> Double Down is a dish it offered does. by Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurants where a sandwich is formed by two That's pieces of fried madness. chicken rather than the usual halves of a bread roll. The it's, Double Down contains <laughs> bacon, ch- cheese, and sauce between two pieces of chicken filet. You and you tried it. I did not try this. 
I thought you said you tried it. No, no, I just said that they started it. So Popeyes and all these guys are kind of like doing this whole beef thing because they, to me, they started doing like let's try something. KFC did it first, so they actually. I don't know if they did it first. I, I don't know that that's what we ought to. Is that what is that? Um, that's called a double dip. That's that not was a when bacon. Sandwich. Remember when bacon was on everything. You remember that that little that little season See. where they started putting like everything was bacon wrapped. And bacon, yeah, bacon. bacon that's bacon when they did a, this. Wow, nobody has tried the Beyond Chicken. No, that's it's plant based, right? It's plant based, but it doesn't look like. I'm not a fan. It. Like, why do I? I do. I struggle with turkey bacon. Why can't it just be like? Why? Why do we have to create the fake versions of things? Because you health nuts. Like I know I'm eating plant based food. So why can't I just eat vegetables? But what if why you does want, it have to be want, a, But what about those people that want to enjoy the taste? Oh, because enjoy? There is, is that what we're talking about? There is a texture to meat that is different than vegetables. If we're and talking so, about enjoying, why not just eat the real shit? If we're ta- this is about enjoyment. They'd kill you. That's why. Yeah, it what? Se- makes seven months you. sooner than you? <laughs> I, I may well, die you know seven what? months I, sooner. I, I don't, you know, death is inevitable. But if there's a way to avoid the pain and the and the and the and the, and the quality of life being destroyed, I'd rather do that. Can I offer something? Please. The pain and all quality of life that you're sacrificing while you're suffering through eating plant based <laughs> plant based. No, Beyond things. Burgers are delicious. Beyond Burgers are delicious, and I'm going to well, try this Beyond stupid, Chicken. Though. I'm just saying, if I'm, if I'm going to. <laughs> Hey, I mean, if I'm going to eat an apple, I'm going to eat an apple. I don't right. need to eat a a burger made from apple. <laughs> but what if I I enjoy? There are some of us that really enjoy our meat, and I but I also want to be healthy. You can have that. <laughs> you enjoy meat. Um, how many meats would you say you enjoy or have enjoyed? I'm not doing this. We're not, but what I'm season two, is, we can't we can't find <laughs> out. <laughs> we, <laughs> what I what I am saying what is are your favorite meats. <laughs> <laughs> there are people that enjoy the texture of meat. <laughs> Why can't you even say it with a straight face now? <laughs> this is a silly show. Uh, <laughs> How do we go from the heaviest show, show to the silliest tenth grade show? She said penis. <laughs> Cause man, the internet is high school. She Everybody, this is this is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, nobody's having substantive, intelligent no, conversations. I, I ate, you watch no, the news for that shit. You know what, Mr. Kevin? When I when I tried the jackfruit, remember that? I, you told me about jackfruit, with this wonderful fruit that And what did it meat. taste like? It did not taste like meat. So what happened is I was tricked. <laughs> I, I went and it and it was barbecue jackfruit Ugh. that was like on a taco, right? I told you this, and I and it the the texture looked like it was gonna taste like shredded shredded like beef, but That's I bit into it, it that it was to, and to it tasted pork. like lettuce, not pork, beef. But when I bit into it, it tastes like barbecued lettuce. Ugh. And I was, it was not good. Barbecued I did not like lettuce. It. And that's unfortunate because it you, was. Know, you know what raw jackfruit tastes like? No, I don't. What does it taste like? Bubble gum. That's hard to believe. Trust me. Bring some. What, what I flavor? would love to. Bring I some. would love to. Please like, do. What do you mean what flavor? Like regular? Jackfruit. Bubble. That is like, I thought, well, I said it backwards. Jackfruit doesn't taste like bubble gum. Bubble gum tastes like jackfruit. <laughs> Mind blown, right? He said that shit like he said that shit like that. Shit was deep, yo. That shit was deep. I'm telling you, I'm serious. Like, no, wait, no. Bubble gum doesn't How taste like here? jackfruit. <laughs> no, I take that back. Jackfruit. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bro. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Legit. Flip and that, you were, reverse and, it. And see, they ruined it by cooking it and slathering it in sauce and made it taste like. Bring some. Bring next week. Bring we're going to do this. Fruit. We're going to do peel. this. I would like us to taste it on air so that we can share with the viewers. I would love we, to. We. I would because I've tasted a lot of jackfruit. And I've never tasted anything have. that was. Have you ever? Have you ever had it raw? <laughs> See what I did there? See what I did? I heard you. <sighs> How many would you say you've tasted? <laughs> you've 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 Are had you you've had fruit? many. I would love to. Yes. Okay. You next, had you music, but you never fruit? had it like this. <laughs> Okay, oh. well, bring it, bring it, bring it. All right. And we'll all it's try delicious. it. No, we won't all try it. <laughs> <laughs> that side of the table is going to try it. I'll watch. What? You'll have some, man. N- no, thanks. You'll have some. No, you're, it, that's rape. You, you can't put, force your jackfruit on me, sir. That's you know gay rape, too. We're not going to be able to get this back. 
<laughs> Reel it back in. We were talking Reel about we we're talking in. about the donut chicken sandwich. I personally think whatever, innovate. I do, but I just I I think it's it's late to the party. Um, well, considering Popeyes no longer has <laughs> the chicken sandwich, right? Clearly, there was room on the market. It, I don't think they're getting it back. But you know what's funny Meanwhile, though? Chick Fil A is still doling them out. Yeah, I had Chick Fil A the other day. I was like, man, this is a really good sandwich. <laughs> Seriously, like I know everybody was so up in arms about Popeyes, but Chick Fil A makes a really good chicken. Well, sandwich. you know it's what? It's a consistent sandwich. Yeah, it's- I was also insulted by the Bring Your Own Bun campaign. Silly. Silliness, silliness, insulted. Silly. And then they told you, "How dare you!" And then they said exactly what I said: that it's just damn tenders. It's, if you've had Popeyes before, you've had the, the Popeyes chicken sandwich. No, the t- it's not. Is it no? They said put three tenders and bring your own bread, right? Three tenders. They did. Three they, tenders they did. across. Three. They said bring your own bun and order three tenders, put it in there, and that, that's that's the sandwich. Pour it in my hand <laughs> for a dime. What fucking marketing <laughs> genius? But, okay. Like seriously. Okay, but I thought that it was a breast. I thought it was a fillet. Well, that's what the tenders are too, though. But that's but, what you were supposed to think. <laughs> yeah. Voila. And they were just fused mm-hmm. tenders. The jackfruit actually tastes like bubble gum. <laughs> No, <laughs> bubblegum actually tastes like jackfruit. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just telling you, dude. When you're on the other side of the matrix, the lies just come from. Right. They just crumbling down. Clarity over there. No. Speaking of it's a whole new world. lies crumbling, did either of you gentlemen see the, the um, impeachment of our fine president? <laughs> well, the impeachment proceedings that were happening today. The impeachment proceedings. The beginning of the... I don't tell me more. Well, I, yeah, there's not much to tell, but what I, for what I saw was some very angry Republicans and some very angry Democrats. And this, uh, this uh, Lewandowski, this, um, he was a, uh, Trump's former campaign manager was on trial, and it was it was a shit show. Lewandowski. Was, Lewandowski. Yeah, I don't know what that is. He sounds that like doesn't he sound rolled. American, no, does it? No. He sounds like one of those guys from Goodfellas that just rolls Polish over. Polish or something. I tell you what, he was a very confident uh, aide or former uh, campaign manager because when, when he was asked, he just handled the, the Democrats and the Republicans with such, it was kind of like, you know, the, the mafia type, because he's like, they were like, so did you say this? And he was like, is that what it says in the report? And they were like, oh, well, can you explain what you said? You can go ahead and read it from the report. I like, can't recall. He handled. Spicy. He, he, he did. And he then did he the said, wheezy. he said, I have no obligation to be honest with the media. He was very, very. Um, the media? Oh, wait, so who was questioning him? Well, the, the, he was being questioned by the Democrats and Republicans in the House, but there were cameras there. Oh. And he was suggesting that people were pandering to the cam, which they probably were. Yeah. They probably were, you know? And Trump Trump put out that uh, <laughs> a tweet saying that he made a beautiful opening. What a beautiful opening uh, from L- L- Lewandowski. Everybody who's about to be on First 48 should pay attention to Lewandowski because they always give everybody up on that show. Them niggas yeah. just start singing. As soon as they get in that little box, man. Lewandowski. So, so, it's, it, it, so basically, he was, he was reprimanded several times, but he never backed down, which I, I really thought was awesome. Uh, he, he said, Mr. Excuse me. So this, was, this is Democratic Rep Pramila J. J I don't know, some, some foreign... Democratic rep says, excuse me, Mr. Lewandowski, this is my time. You are not yet in the Senate. You are a witness before the Judiciary Committee. Please act like it. And <laughs> like, he just kept blowing people off like, no. You know what I mean? But it, it, it just, I don't know why uh, this took up the majority of our- So what, what about the impeached though? Who's, who's getting impeached? Well, they're attempting to use his testimony to impeach- uh, President Trump on the ground. Does they even have the? Do they have grounds yet? Or are they just man, saying let's try something? Trying to Scooby Doo had this crack. <laughs> had this case crack in thirty minutes, man. They're trying to draw some conclusions here. They would have snatched this nigga mask off a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> is it really Donald I Trump? Know, I don't understand what's taking so long. Like it is what it is. The crazy what? thing is, I'm watching Trump address people. He's he's. I don't know where he was, but you know, it comes in the middle of the Lewandowski, you know, uh, questioning. And I was watching CNN, and, and Trump is out here, and he was like, I can't tell if this guy is Hispanic American or <laughs> he, he looks more like a wasp than I do. And I'm like, Trump says the most amazingly racially combative things. And, and we just, I mean, it's funny, but, you know, he gets away with, what are we doing? And I'm like, he's really, I'm sitting there cringing 
And people behind him are like, yeah. <laughs> like, he said, I like Hispanic Americans. <laughs> and he, he just. He said he likes them? Yeah, he said he likes them. He's, it, so what's wrong with that? Well, but I'm just saying, it just is slightly How do you find hate? How do you find hate in somebody saying they like It's slightly something? inappropriate because he's talking about them like they're not people. Like, By saying I like them? Well, I, do you not, do you see what I'm saying? Like he's, Well, I do remember a moment where he said, that guy there, that's my African-American. Yes, that's my African-American. So this was, it was like that with Hispanic Americans. He's, like, he's saying, that's my nigga. That's what he was saying. But he can't say nigga. It sounded nigga. almost as if, I you mean You told like, him he can't say niggas. He's like, that's my African-American. African-American. <laughs> if a black guy like, that's my nigga, you wouldn't have a problem with that. And he's like, look right here. Here's my, I felt like it was almost like, there's my good boy. Oh, come on. The speculation is so wild. I just think mm. he said, I like his Spanish. He's like, oh my God, it's so racist. Well, I'm just saying, what who else fuck? stands up and say, I mean, I, I, what is the difference between Hispanic Americans and Americans? I don't know. You don't so, think there's any difference? So culturally, there's no difference between. Hey, well, well, you know what? Let's, let's be honest about our communication right. because a lot of times it's not, it's not the message, it is how the message is presented. By the messenger. Okay. True. He doesn't have a great track history. And, and so a lot of what he says is seen through that filter. And what I've noticed, though, and I'm not mm-hmm. saying this about this particular situation. What I've noticed a lot of times, though, especially in this climate, that people are not willing to let a person they don't feel as a proper messenger say anything. And anything that that messenger says, they immediately shoot it down and discredit it based on the idea that they have already formed in their head based on whatever. So what I'm saying I, I is, I agree with that. I agree so, with if that. anyone else had said I like I like Hispanics, they wouldn't be a problem. Well, no one else would say that. Well, I don't know. I, like that? Really? I don't. No think, one else would say it like that. No one else that, would say it quite like that. Just like I don't think anyone else would stand up and say, "Look here, they're right there. That's my look at my African American." So nobody. I that's my think, nigga. Nobody's ever said that. That's not what that is. That's not what that is. That's a t- you, that's that's two different things. It's the messenger. Know, but, it's, the, it's not. So who's the blame? It's the context. It's the context. The, the messenger's the, fault. The messenger provides a lot of context to the message. But sometimes context is provided by whatever you've built in your head that that messenger probably means by it. Because you guys have just gone off what you think he meant, what it probably means, what he's been bad at, what he's been good at. So you've kind of already formed this. And I'm not saying just for him. I remember I played one time a, a video on one of the other shows on the network, and the person who was who was um, doing the, the quick lecture or whatever, was a uh, middle-of-the-ground but slightly liberal-leaning person. But in the live room, they were like, fuck that guy. He's a he's an alt-right person. He, and he wasn't. So already, they before he even got to what his message was, they were already like, fuck that dude. No matter what he says, it doesn't matter. I think that's a little dangerous. Absolutely it is. And if he says he likes Hispanics, eh? It wasn't just well, that. I mean, he, he, he talked about, he, he said that this guy... That he was friends with He couldn't I can't really tell If he is Hispanic American He just makes very um, Stereotypical comments That are That can be seen As racially Just Provocative And it's because He's the president Or is it because No it's just because It's part of it I mean yeah I mean He I kind of give him a pass Because I think another politician Would be held Accountable for their actions A little bit differently I think people Just don't take him He gets away with A lot of things That are not just very unconventional conversations that other people, other politicians would not get away with. I think that's why he's there. I agree. I, I think, think people the are tired of the bull- people are bull- tired of the, the, yeah. the, the stiff shirt bullshit. Yeah. And you're telling us one thing. Meanwhile, they're, you're saying something out the back of your head a different way. Not that Trump doesn't probably do those things, but it's just it's presented in more of a almost like so how how we felt about George Bush, where it's like he's gonna say whatever comes out of his mind. Right. He's a down home boy and like whatever. Trump is that same thing, but he's more city fied. Right. So it's like it's it's more palatable because we're most of us are city people. So we kinda yeah. understand, you know what I'm saying? Bush did in that accent, you know, and it's like He does have the city game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's city like it's, it's it's a New York it's a New York talk and and we're kinda accustomed to that. Yeah, yeah. Not saying that he's not double talking everything too, but I think the reason why he's there is because of saying I, Crazy shit like I that And not being scared To to double down When With The chicken. country Appears like it's against him Is that the name that, that was the name Of the Kentucky Fried chicken sandwich The double down right? The double uh, The double down Yes Isn't that interesting <laughs> they Full circle down. How our show goes Full circle They double down Now now speaking of People being You know Getting away with things Or representing different things You guys saw Kanye West held his Sunday service Getting away here. with things. <laughs> he, he held Sunday service here in Atlanta, right? Now, he okay. held it at New Birth Ooh. Mm-hmm. with uh, Pastor Jamal Bryant. Mm-hmm. 
that received a lot of negative backlash. Well, I mean, we can't forget of New Birth's history also. And the pastor that's there now um, has his own history. I didn't know that. It is not the history of a long, but it's he, has checkered. A, he has a philandering history. <laughs> He's a with good speaker, with, though. But it wasn't with boys. No, okay. no, just, just what we all, just so women. So we, we have found out. Okay. No, yeah, just, just women. Just met women while he was married. It's okay. It's not. Is he still married? Well, no, no. The the philandering caught him up, and he's no longer. But he was dating, I think, Phaedra for a while, and then. Phaedra oh, he's a he's a socialite. He's a, he is. He's a very social. Wow. Yeah, he was on the Amorosa show. Was her? He, he's he's very so. He's, he's a successful, wealthy man. He'll recover. Yeah. But so so Kanye was at the church, and I I just you know you guys. We have to ask the viewers because you guys are not really religious people, so you may not be offended. But there were some people that were offended by the church service because I thought the church, I didn't realize, I didn't really know what Kanye was doing. You know, he's in this, you know, nondescript garb. He's kind of like, it's a lot of good music happening. But I did not know. offended about a church service? That the, 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 the church service is all directed towards Kanye. So he has all the people come and they sing worship songs to him. It's it and so basically it's a, a, a it's he absorbs it. But he's got a choir. They like, singing it to him. <laughs> sing, they're singing to. It's him. a circle. You have he's the, in I the, the circle. Videos. He's in the middle. Yeah. Everyone is singing to him. It, it's all surround. It's all surrounding the middle, which is where he sings. Him. She's saying him as the middle. I don't know. But no, he's he, in no, the middle. Because no, in the they videos, are. They, I, I think, there's tons of people in the video. So you can't, like I see, I've but I, seen I, I have him a good in friend. the middle. Well, but. Actually, a friend of the show, Amir Shaw, okay. uh, A.R. Shaw, attended on behalf of Rolling Out. And he explained it that it, basically it's, it's they're, they're singing to Kanye. That's how this is set up. Mm-hmm. And, and, I, and I, I, you know, people. He's Jesus. He is. That's what I'm saying. Jesus like, walks. Yeah. So then, so who's offended? There were a lot of people offended to where um, um, Pastor Jamal Bryant <clears throat> made some comments on his page. I'll read his comments. Turn that mic a little bit towards you for me, or just turn okay. it to you. To you. Yeah. There. All right. Let me uh, let me pull up his comments. Yeah, it, it was a lot of outrage, and people were really upset that he was able to hold it at um, at um, New Birth. Um, was this during New Birth service time or this was later? I believe that it took over the service time. So this was actually New Birth members in the, in the audience. In the audience and additional media and people. And then he had his people that's right so there on the So this is there. the this was the advertisement uh, Jesus is king and, and it's Kanye him. It, it is him. It, it, it's him. And he's wearing like Well, you know what? Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm I'm Well, he is I mean, he did put himself on the cross and before and yeah. he called himself Jesus. Well, yeah, it says the fifth album by Kanye West. That's his new album. Oh, that's so that's it's, that's it's promo. He's getting Jesus ready. Is king. He's getting ready. And it says so Pastor Jamal Bryant says y'all still mad or big mad? The enemy meant it for evil, but God is going to work it out for good. You are not called <laughs> to be in the jury. You are called to be a witness. <laughs> Learn to love you will laugh more. Stay tuned. Hello, fucking Louie. <laughs> oh, telling you, sacrilegious. <laughs> oh, <women. laughs> I'm sacrilegious. We got a nigga on the middle, in the front of a cover saying Jesus is King with him in Jesus gear, <laughs> and then we got the pastor of New Birth saying y- y'all are witness to y'all this. are Come witness. On. I mean, jury. we've seen we've seen I'm similar things like this, especially in hip hop. I mean, Machiavelli. That was the cover. That was, was a problem. Pop on the cross. That was a problem. Also. It was a con- but it, okay. It was controversial, but it's not like we haven't seen that kind of art before. Uh, Not to mention, we know Jesus is black anyway. Tupac and Kanye look more than the white Jesus that's Jesus on most of people's have been grandmas. Black, though. <laughs> but what does that have to do? Even if he was black, what he does wasn't. that have to do with Kanye making himself into Jesus? <laughs> you said you think Jesus don't even exist, <laughs> but he wasn't black if he did exist. He's the wrong. wrong well, he's not saying he didn't wrong exist. Area he just doesn't believe world. that he was uh, the 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 savior of the world, right? Uh, I mean, there's proof that he exists. Is there? There's no historical proof of Jesus, actually. The Bible is the only place Jesus' name appears. I'll have to research that. Mm. As, as a savior? I mean, Jesus, the, the gardener. Jesus? That's what you're talking no, about? No, Jesus. He called, he don't, they, you, have you noticed that Mexican? They don't go that yeah, that Jesus shit no more. <laughs> they say, my name is Jesus. Holmes. <laughs> you're a, you know, <laughs> you. You, not Trump. It's you. It's you. Right, it's With just the Hispanics, me. it's you. No, but look, though. Well, all I'm saying is that he couldn't have been black. He he definitely wasn't white either. He wasn't white. He wasn't black. That's that's 
a lot That's the of, cradle of civilization. As a matter of fact, the picture of Kanye was in black and white. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, I, I'm not feeling that it's picture because either. Because Jesus has no color? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You don't no, see Jesus color No, Jesus has now? a color. It's brown. We can't. We don't know. We can't speculate well, I mean, what if, the if color we, was. If we just go off the where, the, where they're talking about all this happened. It was. There were brown people in that area. He's aliens. not black. They're not black. Those people do not look like you. They do not talk like you. They do not think like you. Let me just be real okay. what it is. Uh, why I believe that people are upset at Kanye is because... Kanye wore the MAGA hat. That's the only reason why. They're still mad at Kanye for wearing and the MAGA went, hat. And he went and visited. He went and visited too. That's what it's about, really. And his wife is... Okay. They don't care so much about the Kim Kardashian thing. Yo, and, no, no, no. I, I think they love the fact that they're together, but I think that they are, they are both... Trump's. I don't think that's why people are upset, though. Oh, I do. You think it's just I because think, of, of Trump? So look, you think back. Think back a few summers ago when he went on those rants and stuff, right? Yeah. Everybody was concerned for. We weren't really fucking with Kanye because we were kind of scared of what the hell was wrong with him. <laughs> people weren't really weren't really messing with him, but we still were like, okay. But Kanye is one of the dopest producers of all time. Absolutely. Fast he, forward to that red hat shit, and everything changed. You've got to know a, a gospel album by Kanye is is going to be bumping. It'll be the number one gospel album in the fucking world. Agreed. I mean, yes. Yeah. And he's got I, Kirk. I know Kirk's got a feature on there. Kirk. <laughs> he's he's riddled with bullet holes too. <laughs> he's gonna limp to the finish line if Kirk is on it. This is a this is a fiasco. Hey. I we keep I keep looking for topics that are are uplifting and I, I we keep feeling. We keep feeling. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to uh, the, uh, the Queen of well. Patty, Miss Patty. You want the good news segment? I want the good news segment, okay. Miss Patty. Miss Patty is 75. First of all, can I tell you how much I love Miss Patty LaBelle? Why? We all love Patty. I just love Patty. Patty's what? amazing. Why do you love her? Well, she's awesome. You don't enjoy her voice? Yeah, her voice is nice. was nice. I mean, she's legendary. She's how do you, you? She's 75. Because it's a social requirement. You can't hate Patty. I don't hate her, but I mean, I'm not like... In, but she's a good... She's she's just... she She's like grandma. She She... She feels like a grandma. My grandmother was way better than Patty LaBelle. <laughs> well, she reminded me of my grandma. Sorry. That's why I like oh, her. Oh, okay. She reminds me of my grandma. That granny. means my grandma's way better than your grandma. Oh, I don't think so. I don't know. Vivian would. Mary Alice was no, no, was no Vivian joke. Vivian Louise was Mary no Alice joke. Mary Alice was a comedian. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, they all are comedians. No, are not like Mary Alice. Me? <laughs> Vivian would talk you. T I mean, she would. And my granny enjoyed the 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 artistic use of. A profanity. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, my grandmother didn't curse as as much as as some grandmothers do. Now, is your are you, are you speaking of your my dad's mother? Okay, I was like, are you speaking of your African American grandmother or your yes. Caucasian grandmother? Well, why would it matter though? I'm just wondering. Just uh, wondering. Just asking questions. I mean, but which one are you speaking of? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, G. I'm, I'm sure your grandmama was great, man, but mine knew God. What? My grandmama knew God. She spoke. Who grandmother in didn't know God? Mm -hmm. Whose grandmother didn't know God? You uh, could not know God as a grandmother. I don't, I don't know your. I don't know what your grandmama did. First of all, but you gonna stop talking about my grandma in that hey, tone of voice? Hey, that's I'm what you're going. That's I, what you're going to. I, I don't know. I'm sure she was a great lady. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna lie. Viv Viv Vivian Louise did not speak in tongues. Now she did. She speak spoke a different kind of tongue. She spoke mother like that. <laughs> <laughs> she did speak to uh, different uh, gentlemen at the store to give her free things, and my grandma. Your mother was known to wear uh, a low halter top to your, mo your grandmother was flitty? My she started hot girl summer. Ooh, I hear my yeah. Angela my right start, now. Your my granny did start the hot girl summer. In the she 70s? Did. Well, what, she what had a that? cigarette uh, in her mouth and her titties were out and they called her Cookie. But that's, cookie. you know, that's, that Ooh, was my granny. It was a jazzy lady. My, 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 cool. my, my granny mm -hmm. said, I'll never forget this. She told me when she was 70. She did God's that's work. when she walked through the church, the deacon's neck still snapped back when okay. she walked by. So I'm not going to say that she spoke in tongues. I'm yeah. not going to say that because I never heard it. She had different healing powers. <laughs> <laughs> she used her tongue differently. Mm. <laughs> Y'all be careful now. Amen. Hey, hey, you tell you. Amen. 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 <laughs> I'm talking about the cigarette. Uh, but, to but pull not, from the but, cigarette. But, 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 but Patty, now, and I, you know what? I think Miss Patty is a lot like my granny because with the, the, I hung out with Patty LaBelle two or three times. <laughs> One of the times was that the first time I met her was at Essence Festival, which is why this article is so funny to me because she had just gone through um, her divorce. And I believe that Miss Patty discovered that her ex-husband may have been on the down low. Oh. 
She was very concerned and asked us, did we know how to tell if the men were on the down low? Were we afraid? And I told her I was. I was very for afraid. For her or just for guys? Just period. period. You know, as you're dating. And she said she was not, she didn't want to date right then. And she was just, she just wasn't date. sure. We're talking about 75-year-old Patty. She wasn't 75. She was probably in her late 60s at this time. Ugh. Don't do that. First of all, you're not that damn far away, okay? Don't front. Don't front. Ugh. 15 years, my nigga. <laughs> you're right in that place yourself. But why can't so you Patty? Say why can't Patty get, wait, is, is Morgan Freeman married? <laughs> Ugh. He's married to his granddaughter. Oh, my God. We just went down a hole. I uh, do There's a lot of uh. <laughs> Point is, Patty says she's still holding out for love. I think it's beautiful. Beautiful. It's a beautiful sentiment. She's holding out. Patty, Patty <laughs> LaBelle. No, no, no. I got to say the second story. So she said she was concerned. She was asking us. She was very concerned. The second time I saw her, she was at Chastain. We went backstage, and Miss Patty said, the first thing she said when we came in, she said, you know, it's hard out here for a pimp. And for a bitch, too. <laughs> I was just like, yes, yes, ma'am, Miss Patty. Yes, ma'am. So, obviously, um, for her to say, for her to greet us with that greeting right. meant she was she was going through it. Yeah. She was going through She was not in love at the time. So, what did you guys give her? What advice did you guys give her for knowing if your man is on the down low? We told her we were afraid and we did not know. But I, told, <laughs> I don't think they all are. But uh, Miss Patty says that she has not given up on finding Mr. Wright, even at 75. She still has time to find a husband. And I think she's right because my old landlord that I that when I moved into my first house in Georgia, she was in her late 60s. And I remember asking her if she wanted to get married. And she said, maybe. She was like, but not right now. And I was like, what? if not now, when? Well, I mean, Viagra is cheaper now. It's generic. So you can, get, you can get Viagra on the down low too. But, you know, <laughs> an adopted grandpa that, you know, got married at 76. His wife was 83. Do you feel like you're going to be having sex in your 70s? I hope not. I just want to get it all but I mean, out. But I mean, you want to get it now? I want to get it all out in the next 10 years. But I'm saying though, you, 10 to 12 but you years. started over though. So it's like, it'll only be a 17 year old vagina at that point. I just don't, but it, the body will be <laughs> in its 70s. <laughs> The body will be in its 70s. Do you want to be having sex at 70? I do. Yes. To who? I, 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 to who? We're both married. What do you mean to who? Oh, well, Poor question. Does your wife want that? Yes. I don't know. My wife is younger than me. Me too. Yeah. Well, maybe they do. That's even worse. I got to figure, figure it out. I got to figure it out. You're young. You know what? And then Actually, that's probably what Miss is... Patty needs is young yeah. man. It's I her. Think she she's 75. Give her a nice 50. She's talking about bitches and pimps. Maybe, she definitely needs somebody with a little spunk. Maybe 55. 50 year olds be trying to holler at 30 got? year olds. Who 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 we got in the 50 year old range? Clifton this? Powell. Clifton Powell is 60 is 60 something. He would be a good man for Miss Patty. Yeah, Miss Miss Patty, this Ms. is Pinky. Patty and Pinky. Pinky, this is Miss Patty. <laughs> I think that would Pinky be good. And Patty. <laughs> Pinky and Miss Patty. <laughs> Hell no. But you know what? I think his girlfriend is like in her thirties. She is. Oh yeah. So he ain't trying to do that old wrinkly stuff. He ain't no wrinkly coochie. <laughs> if only That's so she... sad. Nope. That's so sad. I don't. Nope. Who is that? I got uh, what, what are women supposed to do? Why do I think do? things like this? What, what are think? women supposed to do? Uh, why do you? You know, y'all just we just got to be wrinkly together. I can't. Hey. I can't be with you if I'm. You know, regular skin and you wrinkly. Miss Patty got all the teeth. But what if you're wrinkly skin and she's not? Because you have a younger wife, so she's right. not going to be wrinkly. Oh, you're it's gonna... different. Guys get far more uh, licensed to be fucked up. We do. Because we take out the trash? No, because we're not we're not beautiful specimens. Exactly. Yeah. We're not supposed to be beautiful. You it, are it, supposed to be. No, we're not. Right. You don't want no beautiful it. dudes. Those are down low dudes. You don't want no man prettier than you. Yeah, come I on, man. I want one that, you know. You don't. No, nah, you, you don't. don't. You don't, don't want that. It's going to be gay. Yeah. I don't know, but you just don't want it's that. Be on the you could find a gay dude tonight. Well, you can find a broke dude tonight, but I'm just. What? <laughs> <laughs> you, you are the one taking us down these pathways. All I'm saying is that. <laughs> goodness. All right, you're of darkness. What? I'm just saying. That are they? Well, no, they're not. I'm sorry, that's not the same. That's not the same at all. Yeah, but guys have the ability to be far more out of out of whack. It's just the way it goes. They do, and I think it's wrong. I'm sick of it. Uh, Get yourselves together. Uh, I was I talking know. to this guy. He said that a woman should not have a bigger stomach than his, and I was like, Sure, I agree. We have the whole babies. Well, when you're pregnant, you can. 
So why would you have a big stomach ever? Life, y'all stress. <laughs> oh, right. So cortisol. About, so wife, life doesn't get to us. It shouldn't. Figure it I out. Y'all got to be okay. Look, see, here's the thing, right? There's people that like that like big people anyway. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, there are men definitely. that like big women. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. As, long as, as, long as, as a matter of fact, opportunity. As a matter of fact, most dudes like a woman with a little size on her. I don't know why there's this, this illusion that guys like skinny women all the time. I think that's a European thing because black one? folks like thing? it thick. Yes. Yeah. Like I don't. I don't we think that, like. I don't think many thick. guys want a little beanpole girl. I just don't think that they want Well, that. I'm going to tell you something. As a woman, we're not into um, men with big stomachs. Sure you are. <laughs> there there are my women. Women, my, woman, my woman will come to me and smell my underarm and, and like it. So, I mean, if, if she likes that, she's going to like a stomach. Ain't, would, you, <laughs> would you date someone that used to be fat? Like Rick Ross? No. You know what I mean? Like they used to be, and maybe Rick Ross was even a bad example. I'm thinking That's about somebody that used to be like four, five hundred, and now oh, shit. they like <laughs> exactly. Where do you put 190. that? Where do you get rid of that too? You got to get some cuts, right? You know how to be having that extra skin. No, and stuff? nigga, you got to cut that. Don't be having nothing hanging when you take off your shirt. If it's some shit hanging, male or female, get that cut. But if you've been fat for 25, cut. 30 years get of your life, and then all of a sudden you skinny, you you got to get that cut. Your skin is designed to. To me, Hang. to me, that is an opportunity for you to it go. Probably, ahead. I'm sure you you got your chest dangle. Ain't nobody what? mad. Ain't no mad at you. Nobody mad at you cutting that. I'm so sick right now. You know how to be looking on like. Move on to a different subject, please. Oh, you'll be looking like an air mattress with a hole in it. <laughs> but but if it gets cold, that's something you can pull over yourself and wrap up in like foreskin. Oh my god. I did leave that open for you. <laughs> that was yes. The op- oh my god! Mm-hmm. There was a post. There was a there was a social media uh, follower that said I was talking too much. Last Stop week. talking so goddamn and much. So then. I shut up and and I've allowed this to happen. There were certain times in today's conversation where I just you totally let us down these paths. No, here, here's what we're all here because of you, black woman. Can we talk about that comment just for a second? It's, it was odd to me that a woman. Told another woman to shut up. Oh, it's not odd to me at all. Women hate women. What? Women hate women. Y'all are supposed women. to be like, let that sister talk. That oh, sister got something right. good to say. No. You both, you oh, back no. Up. What voice is that? <laughs> I don't know. I just went with Duncan and no. That was your ratchet black voice. <laughs> women hate women. Women hate women. What? Women listen to another woman and find out all the reasons that they can disagree with her. That's what are you what talking been, about? That's what we've been conditioned to do. Are you kidding? Women will always side with a man In 2019. Women, we are still trying to get the mm. approval from men. Mm. In 2019? Yeah. So all- I wasn't surprised to see that at all. Women are all... I mean... That women fight each other over over men. Women women are compa- like. Have you guys seen this this Facebook book group? Sis, is that your man? No. Okay, let me no, tell you guys. About I? It. I gotta tell you about it before we get out. I gotta tell you guys about it. Okay, Sis, so the group, okay. the group, because I had this amazing conversation with these young women about it. The group is um, it was huge, right? It took over Facebook. People were joining. Over twenty thousand women were in the group. Right. What happens in the group is a woman drops a man's picture in. If if I meet a guy. And he says he's single. I drop his picture in to see if he's really single. Of course, things were going crazy. A whole thread of, I talked to him last week. Here's his, here he is in my DM. He has two kids and a wife. Like all this kind of stuff was happening on the page, right? So guys are getting put out. The lies are coming to a screeching halt. I'm at the conference last weekend. And I asked some young women. I said, do you, what do you guys think about this group? The women said, I don't think that's right. I said, well, what do you think is not right? Well, just let his lies come out on his own. You don't have to put it out there like that. We're tearing down black men. Ooh, and I love I said, it. I know, I know. I, I, hey, I would love to be a black man right now because the women, there were three women that were adamant that even though men were being caught in their lies, this is not something that we should do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just because some chicken head puts my picture into a <laughs> Facebook group doesn't mean I was even trying to kick it to her. Well, first, first of all, of all that's on. true. That's you're, true. You're but also there were assuming, receipts. There were receipts. But there you're assuming receipts. that I'm telling this woman that she's my only one and that I want a monogamous relationship with her There also. were conflicting receipts in numerous threads possible. where a guy would say... Oh. Possible. Possible. That's possible. What I'm saying is, though, the idea that you have a room that suggests that a man kicking it to a woman is a monogamous exclusive thing is a little unfair. If a man you is have, saying that to you, but, but, he's lying, and if you have a way to fact check, 
and do some so accountability you, do you think, checking, there's nothing wrong with it. Do you it. think every woman that posts a picture of a man in there it has been told, you're my one and only, it's me and you, let's get married? I don't think so, but I, but I still, okay, I don't think that's true, but I also think the idea that I would rather not know and I would rather find out on my own if a man is cheating on me than another woman tell me is ridiculous. And I said to this woman, I said, do you realize some men have whole families for lifetimes? You know and- what I, I agree with? Our listener, you're talking way too much. <laughs> what are you about to say, Kevin? <laughs> it, I, it almost sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! It, it, it sounds like Me Too all over again. It's ridiculous. Oh it, sound, it sounds like like I'm sure that there are legitimate cases mm-hmm. that need to be discussed, and you know, so yeah. on and so forth, right? But the longer it goes on, it's just going to be women like the one that accused Aziz Ansari of rape. Well, what also happens is, you guys don't have to worry. Please don't be alarmed, men. This group will not take you down. Because what happens is, <laughs> the women inviting. start to hate on each other. Okay. And by the time the thread gets to about 30, <laughs> 30 comments, it's the women talking shit to each other. Yeah. So it's like, okay, we lose focus very quickly. Yeah. We come in as women to try to figure out, okay, is this man cheating? It's like, well, if he is cheating with your broke ass, da, 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 well, forget you. Like, and it goes back and forth, and then the friends come. At one point, one of my girlfriends was in there. She found out that the guy that she was talking to was engaged to be married. Perfect. And her and the girl, well, the wife, and several other women almost ended up in a whole fight. Like, addresses were exchanged. Oh, was, wow. So, so please don't be alarmed, men. Nothing is going to happen. Your lies will continue to go on because There's, women are really not for each other. They need a leader. There's a need, there needs to be a leader in this group. They, but we can't. Because there's potential for some greatness here, though. Think about they it. Can't All of you are we in just one love place. To tear each other down. You know who the man is. You're seeing who the woman is. Y'all can see do, how do we feel about each other. There needs to be leadership in this group. You guys can make something beautiful happen in this group. I'm telling you, you're all in one place. Well, that's not happening. A that's leader not- amongst you must rise. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could be that, that leader. You could be that one. And we'll be the chosen one. <laughs> Polygamy throughout the. Let's just you, all. Born of a virgin, I mean, here to <laughs> save. Us all, <laughs> you get and look, virgin vagina. It's, it's you. Uh, it is yeah. you. Uh, I told you, it's a black woman. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you. Like, no, 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 not yet. I got one more like. thing. I got, I got one more thing I had to say. We, I, I, I do feel. I do feel it necessary. I know you didn't want to talk about it. I think we have to at least give a comment or two on this revolt summit. Okay. I please. Okay. I, no, no, I would yeah, like no, to. I think we should. Yeah. Agreed. I just, I just, yeah. Maybe just a couple of words. Okay. I, how did you guys feel about it? Well, I didn't see. I didn't. I didn't go to the conference. Um, but I did see the clip with Killer Mike, and I don't disagree with Killer Mike. I just, I just feel like it's. And I saw, I saw a few clips, you know, from very motivational conversation. Yeah. So there, I, I watched the. There's a, a one hour video of that entire conversation. I watched the whole hour. Okay. So it started with, like earlier in it, that's when T.I. and Candace Owens were kind of having their exchange. Mm-hmm. And then Killer Mike's piece came to say that, you know, these are, this is what's happening. These people are fighting over mm-hmm. who has a better master, right? Yeah. Then yeah. it was that conversation. Yeah. Um, I thought, I thought that it was a good conversation. It, I think that there were pieces of it that were definitely substantive. Like, like matter of fact, it, it began with everyone saying what they what they thought was the most important issue, mm-hmm. right? And that e- those statements could have been taken to say, "All right, guys, now we have we're going to take your top six picks, right?" For the six panelists, and now we've got the top six agenda for black people on how we're going to progress as a nation or so on and so forth, mm-hmm. right? That could have been done, but we missed that opportunity right. because of what Killer Mike was saying. It was more about the snazzy... Well, there's the, a reason for that. What, what Candace felt was a gotcha moment, which I don't know it was a gotcha moment. Oh, that's what she Killer actually Mike did start off with some bullshit. Well, okay, here's the thing, right? So there, there's there's two problems here. The first one is this revolt. This is a revolt thing. And did you guys see the ticket prices? I didn't. It's like $600 for this weekend. This, well, I don't this think weekend. For the entire that. weekend? For the I don't weekend. think people paid that. I'll just let you know. Well, I mean, somebody paid it. Few people. Not very many. <laughs> Nonetheless, it was, it was thrown out there. Right. I don't think there was a problem with the actual conference or this particular summit. I think that they had the wrong fucking people on the stage. Mm. Who are these people? Mm-hmm. I, I mean... 
honestly, and, and I know people are going to hate me for this, there were only two people who were even qualified to even be part of any conversation, and that was Candace Owens and Killer Mike. Everybody else should shut up and get off the stage. You don't, you don't. T.I. 2? Yes, T.I. 2. Especially <laughs> yes. when, when the fucking Jay Morrison got up and asked a question, and him and T.I. had like a little bro moment. Why is this nigga even asking a question? Yeah, I thought it was They should have not have let this nigga talk. What, you, my nigga? No, you don't, you don't need to talk. Yeah. All the shit that's, that's, that we're like, what? What's going on with this guy? For him to say, oh yeah, me and Tip was in the, in the Rafe outside talking like, First of all, you mentioned his car, and y'all were yeah. sitting in the car together. It was it was, it was really wild. The wrong people were on yeah, stage. He was definitely name dropping. He, the, wanted, the, the, he wanted to well, establish some association, he didn't, he didn't and that wasn't there. necessary. He didn't. There, there's just a lot of posturing, and it's not. It, it takes away from the integrity of the conversation. The wrong people were on stage. Right. Candace Owens is a political person. Right. Killer Mike is a political person. So right. I feel like they have the right to be in the conversation. Well, they However, led the conversation. But I'm okay with Tip. I'm okay with Ti being there just because he does. He has been very involved in political. You know, he's been vocal. He's been, like, he's been yeah, vocal he and he's been very active. He has. He has. I, I'm, I'm not mad at him. I, 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 I'm definitely not upset with him being there. I think that he's on the mayor's council as well. Yeah, yeah. but I don't know that he's just. I, I don't think I don't that know. he's that know. he has the type of uh, feedback that we that we would need for leadership like Killer Mike does. Right. I do think that there's there there needs to be. He's he is a leader because with with the hip hop community, a lot of young people look up to him, and he does try to stand up. And I I, I appreciate that. I, I respect that about. And him. I'm I'm not going to to minimize his voice either. No more than I'm going to minimize Cardi B or anybody else that wants to weigh in on what's happening. Yeah, but I think it's important we have the right people weighing in because we have to. We're we're going to need to have leadership in this, right? And so Killer Mike. What a great thing I like about Killer Mike is that he mentioned other people's names that you can go do your own research with. Right. And matter right. of fact, let me say this as well. I think I, I love the fact that it happened at Revolt because a conversation with the right people, quote unquote, might happen at the Congressional Black Caucus or something like that, where you're not going to see Diddy. You're and you're typically not going to see Killer Mike either. Right. Right? And these are the ones, matter of fact. These are the ones that are going to participate. Most likely, they're going to impact the local level. Right. Sure, they may cast a vote for the national ballot, but where their work can most likely be impacted is at the local level. Okay. So for them to begin to engage in these conversations, not to mention with celebrities where they start to feel like, okay, I'm doing something important and I'm benefiting my community and I'm getting a certain amount of, of notoriety that comes with that. Maybe that's part of the, the gas in their tank. Right. But either way, whatever is kind of with Kanye, whatever is bringing them to church... <laughs> I got you. That's the goal. Can you know I, what I'm saying? Can I offer something else? Sure. So two of the people that Killer Mike mentioned, Yvette Carnell and Antonio Moore, are people who have actually already put together a program. They have an agenda. They have points. They have requests. They have an idea, a black agenda of what people could get behind. And I just, I mean, I'm not, I'm not supporting this all 100% or whatever, but I would just ask everybody go out. They're, what their idea is, that, uh, ADOS, you ever heard of that? The American Descendants of Slavery or mm -hmm. whatever? So they have a website ados101.com and if you click on if you click on that there's a, a link at the top that says black agenda and there are several key points that they want to have happen mm -hmm. in order for black people to actually work themselves towards reparations or whatever it is whatever it looks like mm -hmm. for black people to you know what I'm saying become a, a staple in this country in the right way. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's the way to go. I'm saying that at least they have something in place. Right. I think that everyone who's listening to this should at least go to that website and take a look at it. And whether you agree or disagree doesn't really matter. The, the idea here is that look at the look at the format they put together because it's very intelligent. Yeah, I'm checking it out now. Like it's it's got the data. Ados101.com. It's got the data. You see what I'm saying? And this yeah. is so a lot of times when you've heard me talk about how the black household is is worth a dollar or whatever, right. all that comes from Antonio Moore's research that he's done with with different economists. He's right. a lawyer and he works with economists. And it's not this just we on stage just saying shit because it mm -hmm. sounds good. They're actually doing hardcore research. Mm -hmm. And this black agenda is is phenomenal if you ask me. I can't right. I can't see a more potent I've never seen a more potent path. For black people to have an ask and say, this is what we want, this right. is what we need. If you were to take this to a politician, at least there's something it on paper sense. that looks right. official. Right. Right. So and I'm just I'm just something together. Yeah, I'm just asking something. everybody to just take a look at it. I'm not yeah. saying it's the right way. I haven't I haven't read every single line on this website, but most specifically the black agenda. Take a look at that. Wow. I yeah. Am. 
I, I do, I, I, I applaud that. And I didn't know about this because I listened to some of it, but I, I get turned off by things that I feel like are emotional triggers. And I did right. feel like when I, you know, the social media posts, most of them were celebrating killer Mike statements, which were to me set up to be, I don't think that he was doing it on purpose, but it's, it's emotional triggers to it get is. people he's good at that. sharing things on True. social. And I don't think anything happens with that. But he's and also a college edu- educated black man. No, he's, and, and he speaks very well to the point, right. but I, but I just don't like, you know, it, it's reminiscent of like the Baptist preacher that's like, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of passion and it's very little substance to right. moving forward. So I'm happy to see that there is something that I don't know that this is, but I don't know that this would be the plan that happens, but I do like the fact that there's some place that you can go to actually see what the issues are right. and so people can understand it. So all that rhetoric that gets you hype, right. it, it doesn't take you anywhere if you don't know what the real, what the real statistics and right. the real numbers look and like. And this could be far-fetched as hell. Right. But it's a starting place. Right. I'm really I, I've never seen anything more. else right. of, that's a starting point. I, I mean, I'm sure there was in the 60s, but... For our generation, for now, I haven't seen anything else. There's been a lot of people just complaining about shit and and victims, like, we're victims, we need this, but I've never seen it so concrete. Right. This is cemented on this page, you know, and I think it's something that's worth taking a look at. That's all I had. That's all no, I want to say. I, I agree. Guys. I, 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 pr- I appreciate you insisting that we talk about this because I think that's something that I haven't seen either. I know that's something we've talked about, and even when we had, like, um, uh, I think we had Rick Mathis come and talk about Black Friday last year and how the the the, the black um, dollar has lost it doesn't have power and how we need to, like people hear that but they don't see the real statistics behind it to understand how you what the di- what the disconnect is right well, you know what here's the thing uh, are you, I'm the star you're not done yeah I was fine there's the Antonio Moore guy what he's really piping right now is um, the Civil Rights Act of 1866, which Byron Allen is is going back and forth with. I don't know if you know, y'all know about Byron Allen, but he owns the Weather Channel yeah, and some yeah, networks. Yeah. Yeah. He's supposedly a black billionaire. They're not giving him his stats for it, though. But to look into the Civil Rights Act of 1866 is another thing. It's about entrepreneurship and, and our ability to to be part contractually in some of these negotiations and agreements that allow us to be entrepreneurs. So this is another thing. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, every now and then, I run across something that, that seems important. Very well, dope. Is, we've, we've, re- we've redeemed ourselves with this information. <laughs> <laughs> this is a redemptive moment for Music Love Life because we were in a bad place. We were in a great we place. We were in a place. perfect place. <laughs> we were right where oh, God wanted right. us to be. Some would say Spoke too soon <laughs> Like, I share, and subscribe you. Share it with God Music Love Life